we back. Another episode of the Man to Man Pod. Your shoot A B, co-host D Butt. Yes, sir. Yeah, t- today, man, we got a real special guest, man, a brother of mine, former teammate of both of mine and uh D Butt. Mm-hmm. Um, shoot, man, we can we can talk about the accolades, man, for for a long time, man. You know, coach legend, uh ring of honor, um, a black college football hall of famer. Ooh. Um you was uh what sack sack leader in what year was that 2013? 13. 13 um yeah. uh future hall of fame in my mind. Um, like I said, we can go on for days, man. But my brother, our brother Robert Mathis, aka the Sandman, what's good? <laughs> yes, sir. What's up, man? Little bros, man. I see y'all doing y'all thing. Appreciate y'all bringing me on, man. Nah, so, man. man. Appreciate yeah, I, I peep y'all talking shit, so you know it's only right that I talking <laughs> shit. Got it's to, only man. right. Got to. It's, it's only right, man. <laughs> um, I, I want to start it off. You know, we we similar similar backgrounds. You know, just how we we entered the league, and me and D. But we kind of talked about it once before. Um, just the 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 climate where we in, and just where you know you you hear about you know um young high schoolers, man. They thinking about making that that plunge and go on the HBCU route. Um, you from Atlanta, went to Alabama, Alabama A&M. Uh, just kind of get a people, man, a little bit of your story, man. You know, um, how did you get to a- Alabama A&M? Uh, you were drafted in the fifth round and just kind of how your story was where you wasn't, you didn't come on the coach and you was uh, automatic, you know, um, coming off the edge, how you had to, you know, wait your got time. Got the mud. The special team, got out the mud. So just kind of <laughs> talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, grew up in the city, Atlanta, South Zone 6 to be exact, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, went to McNair High School. So it was, you know, the whole the whole black inner city youth type of deal. So our team, mm-hmm. we went three and seven. We weren't really – it was a lot of talent but a lot of knuckleheads. And so we weren't getting a lot of looks from schools or whatnot. But we had a scout – he was scouting the head coach's son, and we know how that goes. And, uh, he saw a particular play that a uh, hustle play, and this this was Alabama and them scouting, and uh, they decided uh, to take a, a shot on me because the guy that they wanted during that year, 1999 2000 season, it was the last scholarship, and the guy that they wanted turned them down on signing day, so they just so happened to have one scholarship left, and they offered it to me. That was my only offer. And so my choice was pretty easy. Go to school mm-hmm. for free or be back in, in, in the hood trying to figure it out, doing something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was uh, – I always I just grew up wanting to be in the NFL. Didn't know how it was going to happen. I always knew I just wanted to be in the NFL because my big brother said he wanted to be in the NFL. So, mm-hmm. But it just kind of just took a life on its own. And once I got to college, it was – look, I really want to get in the NFL, but I'm in the HBCU, but I don't care. So whatever that means, I'm just going to put put it all on the table, put out push in all my chips and let it fall where they may. And mm-hmm. lo and behold, it's, I got another opportunity. Fifth round with the uh, Indianapolis Colts, and they, they were the only team that wanted me to play my natural position. Being six feet, 235 pounds defensive end, not a whole lot of teams want you to play what you are. Yeah, that was unheard of back then. Yeah, yeah. What the what the other teams wanted you to play? <laughs> uh, outside linebacker, four, it was a lot of it was a lot more four threes. The the whole three four trend was kind of up and it was it was it was on the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, a lot of teams four three, so it was either wheel linebacker, in which I've never stood up, or it was or hopefully the coach get me. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> the chips fell, fell where they may. And they picked me up fifth round. And uh, Coach Dungey, he was a guy that loved speed. Uh, there was a guy on the team, Dwight Freeney, that was a year ahead of me. Uh, he kind of he kind of paved the way. But once I got in, they allowed me to play my style of play. And four years later, I four years later, I was able to earn a starting spot. And that was the 2006 uh, your rookie year, Twan. Yeah, that was the first year starting. And uh, lo and behold, we you know we go to the Super Bowl, win it. But it was a, uh, it was I was a special. T- I was a teamer. You call yeah. it team- a core core teamer. A core, a core teamer. Oh, core teamer. So, uh, def- definitely had to earn my stripes. And uh, 
definitely got it out the mud. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad to see a lot of guys are starting to understand it's not that they make the school, the school don't make them. Facts. Uh, and just giving the HBCs a look. So I'm proud of that. At what I got a question, man. At what point um in your college career um did you feel like all right, like I I I, I got it? Because I know we all we all had that mindset we want to make you want to go to the league, but at what point I know even being at UConn, you know, it wasn't on like the big, big stage, but it was like so that was always be the now okay, how is he how is he how would he be against bigger competition, higher competition? So it was always on me. It was like I had to go out there with that mindset. Like I, I only not only gotta dominate these guys, but I gotta dominate to a level. Where it looks like okay, he belongs on a different level. So, well, at what point in your college career did you feel like okay, yeah, I, 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 I can really make that next step. I'm ready. It was really, it was my uh, senior year. We played Troy State. That was the biggest uh, it got for us. And I'm looking across the field. I'm looking at uh, <laughs> young Demarcus Ware and OC Human Yuri. Oh, uh, mm. two, two other dogs. Yeah. yeah. So, it was a. Uh, I had a pretty uh, solid game, but. And they just kind of let me know it's really not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. And uh, that was mm -hmm. something that I took, and I just ran with that my whole career. So, and it was just really just I just want a shot, man. Like I'm looking at these mm -hmm. guys, you torn though. Like man, yeah. it, it, it's a natural hate, you know. This dude is he ain't this, he not that. I just let me get, let mm -hmm. me try, let me get a shot. I just want mm -hmm. a shot. And uh, whatever I did with that was it was up it was up to me. So I got the yeah. shot. And uh, kind of, and I feel like I made the most of it. Yeah, yeah I got a, sure. um, I got another question too, man. And and, and it's crazy because uh, you look at the you look at the the work that you put in. You know what I mean? And you say 2006 to uh, what was your last year? 2000. Yeah, 16. so 16. So you you look at that and you be like, yo, like future Hall of Fame or whatever. But talk about those first three years. Um, like you said, when you was a core special teamer, like what did that do um, for you as a player, and f even for you as a as a as a human being? Because sometimes that could be like a, a real humbling experience. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely. It was very humbling because you always think to yourself, "You're greater than what you are," but you are what you put on film, and yep. a whole lot of growth that needed to happen for in order for me to assume that role as a starter. And especially being an undersized guy, so you have to prove you have to do twice as much to get half as far. And uh, being a, a core teamer, you're gonna get they're gonna get all of that work about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a guy he kind of he labeled me as a as a uh, uh, what they call him, what they call them guys. You you bring him in for camp and then cut him. A camp body, camp, camp legs, camp body. Yeah, they called me a count body. Like my rookie year coming in, because you know, naturally all these defensive ends are like six, except the white. You know, he's first round pick. These guys are six five or better. The, the classic prototypical DNs. And so I had to say, okay, so what is a count body? Well, basically, he said, and this not John Turley. He was like, no, you're gonna make the team. Somebody you bring in to give the other the, the, the actual guys rest until the season. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> So I kind of took that and just kind of packaged that in, into another chip on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Use it to uh, benefit whatever I needed to, to benefit. But it taught me to, all right, extra work. No excuses, no explanations. And that's a dungeon-ism. That's a dungeon-ism. Yeah. And I, and I use that in life now. Like Man, too. what? <laughs> yeah, Twan, Twan, Twan used that on the uh, last episode. Hey, all the time. I'm all talking about time. my heat, man. Yeah, man, we got this guy. No excuses, no explanations no so. at all. At None all. of that. So, at all. So I use that to this date and uh, just kind of use that to get through those those first few years. And and I, my thing was just let me learn this playbook. I can I, now I can just play as fast as I as I as I want to. So really, once you eliminate excuses and uh. Any possibility of it, it, you can just turn into the player that you want to be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now I see um you're doing a lot with the younger guys now, with the younger generations, teaching them, um, you know, teaching them the game, the really the nuances of it, of the pass rush, the art of the pass rush. You know what I mean? And um, who would who was? I know you had one of the best D line coaches ever that I've heard. You know, I always hear people rave about Turlek, but who was that guy? Who was that player? That kind of really showed you either from just watching them from a distance or maybe they took you under the wing in all season or something like that or maybe it was dwight who was that person um or 
people who kind of helped teach you the game and what you're teaching the guys now, what you're passing back down now? It wasn't a whole lot of – well, I can't really just say a, a, a actual player just took me under their wing. I think yeah. what helped me a lot was the fact that me and Dwight grew together mm -hmm. along with being under the, uh, the guidance of John Tierling. And just he allowed us to play our style of football. Uh, I know Twan didn't like it a whole lot. There's a couple of wide open gaps. That, man, what? Man. <laughs> you know, it, just, it was just a couple of extra tackles, man. You, you know, you pat it a little bit. He, he, he <laughs> got a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, – he tier link he allowed us to play our brand of a uh, you know pass rush and and with the white and myself we was each other's biggest cheerleader but also we was each other's biggest competitor mm -hmm. the white got to that quarterback earlier oh i gotta get one. he got <laughs> one i gotta go get yeah. one yeah he one up yeah. on me yeah he's on and popping now so but uh it was i would say but now i look at what really kind of lit the fire with me as far as like want to instruct guys i see a lot of guys are not being taught right and then you yeah have, i see the same thing yeah coming out of college i'm i'm just looking at it and it, it you know when you see guys that are not being taught right it just makes you want to step into that like that big brother <laughs> that, yeah. man, what are you doing come here come here, come here. let me talk yep. to you yeah so it just kind of uh blossom into a, a, my own little training business uh, we do up here at a uh, gridiron gang up in westfield so the mm -hmm. coastal training camp up there in the same place, uh, Grand Park, and uh, it's 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 a we getting off the ground, man. It's it's, it's becoming a big success. We got a nice little buzz, but it's just all about training people the right way because you was trained that way. So passing the torch and just paying it forward. Did you no, say skill, not, skill, not scheme. Skill, not scheme team. <laughs> yeah, the skill, not scheme. With the quarterback on the on the, on the bean team, baby. Yeah, nah, that's, <laughs> that's that's dope, man. What's that? Uh, what you think about this, man? Um, uh, <clears throat> you know, you talk about the relationship you and the white had. Uh, the possibility of both of y'all being in the hall, man. Like, like, what, what, what would that mean to you? You know what I'm saying? It's very, very, very special because you no, know, once you retire, that's when you can look back on stuff, kind of reflect. Like damn, you don't have really have time to do it as a player. But when you, yeah. I look back and just think about the stuff, like the run we had, the two thousands. That's just the whole, those coach teams. Like man, we had some special guys on the team, and to be able to just play with a guy like Dwight, got he had he had respect, like, yeah, across the league, and mm -hmm. uh, I had to earn my seat at the table, and I was yeah. able to do that because he helped push me. You know, it was not, it, I can't say it was any any hating. Cause we fed off each other, man. We both yeah. hate, hate quarterbacks, and we both want to slam them. So it was about who can get there fastest. Man, you yeah. know, I I appreciate y'all boys, man. Cause you know, sitting back in that cover too, that was one thing. You know, I was like, man, that quarterback, <laughs> the quarterback got about three seconds, man, to get yeah, that man. ball out of his hand. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get, if you don't get it out of his hand within those three seconds, you know, it's 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 a wrap. I know one of them boys going um, going to get to him. So that's a, that's a very that's a very important point that you made because. Even D, me and myself and D Butt. D Butt and I had a couple picks six, six. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> and uh, just the importance of sinking the pass rush with the coverage. Yeah, and uh, a lot of I would say DBs and front front line guys just don't understand if you if you can get to that quarterback in three seconds, and the DBs can give you four point five to five seconds. You, know, you meet at three point five. It's gonna yeah. They can, start, they can start jumping first moves, mm -hmm. and, and if. That if he don't let that ball go, they have to trust us to, to get that quarterback down. And I think that's, that's a lot of what it was. And uh, when we was, when we was rocking, torn, uh, you trusted us to get there, and we trusted you to hold the fort until we get there. So mm, yeah. that's the deal. And them, them quarterback, them quarterbacks feel that man. Even because even when you're not getting home, they <laughs> they got in their mind. Ninety-three, they, they <laughs> coming. They so, they so you know, quarterbacks, it's one thing when they, they're a lot harder to, to stop when they can go through all their progressions and they can do that and this. But now when I'm watching film, I'm like, all right, you know, I know, I know they're gonna kill that. He's gonna kill that tackle. So yeah, yeah, they come out this third seven. I know I could well, this is the coverage, but I know I can end this <laughs> early. I could do this, I could do that. And like That's you it. said, on the flip side, um, I remember vividly that um when Peyton first came back, when he first mm -hmm. came back uh, to to Lucas Oil and that strip that you had on him in the end zone, like he wanted he wanted to throw to my guy, and I took pride in that watching film. Like, oh, I had his ass locked up, <laughs> and that you know, and I'm sure it go both ways. But you oh, know, yeah. the media don't really know what they watching and and who's you know whatever whatever. But man, having that sync with your with your pass rush that year that that 2013 year, boy, I me mean, and Taylor, we were, ooh, ooh, 
Woo! <laughs> hey, he on, he on a mission this year, but yeah, man, nah, that's, man. That's, that's a beautiful thing when that shit synced up. Nah, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure, man. It, and and you talk and D Butt just kind of talked about it with the when P came back, the strip sack. <clears throat> so I think you might be one of the best, if not the best, um, for the strip sack. Like where that comes from. Oh yeah, from? that's all time, all that's time leader. Time. Still, yeah. right? um, I, I grew up. I, ironically, my favorite player of all time was well, one was Barry Sanders, but two, uh, Derek Thomas. Derek Thomas. I watched him a lot, up, and he had that tomahawk strip sack. And I just kind of – I had been doing it since high school, just watching watching film on him. And it just kind of turned into the way I tackled. So mm-hmm. I did, and then you get with Don Tierling, he emphasized that every day. Dwight and, and Robert, look, you finish with a strip sack. That's a that's a double whammy right there. You get a yeah. strip sack and a quarterback sack. And, then I mean, that's – it just – it's devastating. Mm-hmm. I yeah. know y'all don't agree, but it's it's. I say it's as no. devastating as a, as a nah, pitch. Shit. Nah, nah, it is because, <laughs> because like like I said, it, that do something to the mental. You know, quarterbacks they throw picks all the time. You know, they throw a pick, they got to get back out there and do the same thing. But you, but this, you, you, you rip that thing off of, of a quarterback <laughs> while you're trying to throw that. That's gonna be in the back of your mind uh, more so than that pick. So uh, that? yeah, what you, what you got like fifty four of them things? Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's about 54 of them. About the 54? Yeah, I was glad. Uh, shout out to Julius Peppers for retiring. <laughs> How close was he? He? <laughs> he was right there at one. He had oh, like one or two more to pass me. Oh, oh man. I, I would have yeah. crawled, crawled until I got them things. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. I would have crawled. Yeah. I'm going to get that list, man. Where, where did you, uh, when you retired, where were you on the all time sack list? All time sack. I was uh, I was ahead of Suggs, but he passed. He, he off and running. Uh, yeah, like, he went to the Chiefs and then he played. He's, he's still right. playing. So I, I, he's nah, not, not right now. He's now. not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. At the time, I was seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. 17, so Top twenty, right man. Nineteen. Top twenty. Yeah, something yeah, like that's that. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. But yeah, what else we got, man? What was that? I was I was just thinking something just slipped my mind. Man, Damn. sure. I got a. I, we got a question for you. Um, and I think it's a good question. Um, from Josh Hale 2325, how does the mobility of quarterbacks today change the way an edge rusher is used? It seems a lot more pressure comes from the interior and the edge rushers are used for contain. Will it affect how the edge is coached now? That's a great question. Uh, no, because you have guys that are, they're, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They kind of, they're the the go-getters. So if you have a like Aaron Donald, he's a go-getter. And you have other mm-hmm. guys that are cleanup men. So if you have a guy that's not necessarily a pass rush guy, he kind of push the pocket and just kind of guide the quarterback where he needs to be. And if the guy, the the initial guy, the alpha dog don't can't get there, you go clean it up. So and, the the, the, yeah, the a, Chandler a, Jones or or yeah. Chandler those Jones, guys. Vaughn, uh Miles Garrett, the Bosa guys, the white guy, hey it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of rushes out there, but yeah, those are the the number one rushers on, on each team. And you let them go. You let them go. Man, I remember we um so we in our division when we was playing, we had a, a very mobile quarterback, Vince Young, right? Oh. And and I remember y'all used to I forgot what y'all used to call it, but y'all used to dial it up where um Rock who, Bait Log Bait. Rock Bait Log Bait. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, so where one say the left defensive end would go in go under. Yep. And then that right defensive end will climb high, right? And boy, that that thing used to look so good, man. Like, yep. is that is that something like y'all basically it was one of them things y'all just dial up for mo- your mobile quarterbacks? Yeah, and it's a uh, it's a thought process behind it because if you have a oh, okay right handed quarterback, mm-hmm. you're naturally going to run a log bait because it's defensive left. We're going to go. No, no, I take it back. It's going to be a rock bait. The left end will go up and under, so the mm-hmm. quarterback mm-hmm. kind of sees that, and he think his escape lane is off of my outside shoulder. So he's going to take that lane to buy more time, not knowing the white is coming around and he's going to take, you know, separate him from the football. So if we do that early in the, in the, in the game and he can get a sack force fumble now before that, that quarterback, we do, we give him that same look again, but it's not a bait. He thinks it's a bait and he's thinking about the white and he's looking over his shoulder. So therefore his eyes is off of his receivers and his, and his only rushers. So that buys us another click or two. 
So these okay. are the type of this is chess, not checkers. So yeah, yeah that's the game yeah. that you're <laughs> Hey, for y'all D line coach that's listening, y'all D coordinators, man. <laughs> Hey, y'all, they dropping gems on the man to man pod. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> y'all, better re- y'all better reach out to him, man. Get up, you know, hey, he, he can come on as a consultant, yeah, hey. give you some game, see. man. It's gonna cost you, you know, the pay, oh, the pay, the pay gotta be hey. right, baby. Right. I love y'all, man. <laughs> hey, you, know, you know what it is. Oh, know. yeah, it's 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 a lot that go into a lot of people just watch it, just think that's just just going out there, yeah. Ah, yeah. trying to get, but it's like you said, it's chess, not checkers, yeah. We get and that I remember. Right. People just thinking we just running up, just running all over the place. But no, it's mm-hmm. we're setting up something. If you, you never let one rush just be, uh, just a single rush. Every every single rush need to set up the next one. Mm-hmm. So we're okay. doing that to set to set up what we really want to do, which is get a one on one, two way goals, and try to keep him in the pocket or think about not leaving it. And all we need mm-hmm. is an extra click on top of you know we got coverage, cover two. Hey, hey do not give up the big play. Yeah, and yeah. Once, once Peyton up two scores, hey, it's it's hey, it's it's go time. Get up, it's yeah, yeah. On, so on, on, the, the, set up, on uh, the for the two minute drill. Yeah, on the front end and the back end, shit, it's eat time. Yeah. Let's go yeah. eat. So what 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 was your favorite? Uh, if you had a because I think a lot of people remember uh Freeney for the spin, like the spin, right. like that was that was his thing. What what was your? I done seen you <laughs> kill a couple couple cats with that with the spin too. But what what would you be? What would be like your signature move um, in your mind? Oh, uh, mine was always the speed dip. Uh, speed dip. Yeah. So you have like I'm saying I'm six feet. So I would you try to coach me up on that. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Guess who? Guess who? Listen, Kenny Moore. Listen, Kenny Moore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I mean. You have got. I, I was looking at uh, what they call them, the guys that come off the edge for the PAT block. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they would come. At the so for years, like even like in college, these, these guys would run and just dip, dip that mm-hmm. shoulder, t- touch the ground, and just and get around there. So I was like, man, how do I mimic that? Because I can't get that low. Yeah, mm-hmm. I tried to. So I would do that because these guys are six five, and. I don't know if you hear me say, old linemen don't like to play below their bellies. Yeah, they, don't like like the the bend, yeah. they don't like to play low. They like to stay up high, just kind of control the block. So I'm going to make you come down here, play six feet and below versus mm-hmm. me playing six, five or better, you know? And, yeah. uh, and once you once it becomes about who's the better athlete, we're going to – people, on, us on defense are going to win that more times than not. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say the best athletes on the field are, are the DBs. Shout out to y'all. But – I Appreciate think that. We, you know we kind of we 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 top we three we number three, mm-hmm. <laughs> but when you get guys going backwards offensive linemen, then you can get them out of their uh, comfort zone. That's that's beneficial to you. So it was always speed dip. So once I get them worried about that, now I can start doing inside spins and stutter like bull rushes and all that. I'm not going to bull rush you when you expect it. I'm gonna give yeah. you speed when you think power. I'm gonna give you power when you think it's speed. Mm-hmm. Now I, w- I would assume it's it's similar to kind of as a DB watching film, we watch receivers, and you go into um, certain game plans. All right, I'm gonna play this guy this way. But then mm-hmm. as you get the game and you getting a few rushes, you getting a few rushes. So if you, I'm sure you going. What's the mindset of, of a rusher like? Because you y'all got, and this is what I hate about y'all. Y'all just gotta be make two plays a game, and y'all <laughs> the highest the highest cat, the highest paid cats in the hey, league man. for two sets. And I know there's a lot that go into getting home. So what was your mindset coming into a game and like the certain adjustments you remember making and things like that? And how would you pass that, um, you know, some just some of that game, some free game along to the younger rushers out there? Was understanding your st- strengths and weaknesses. Like if you had a, a bad game the, the week before, guess what you're going to get? The same exact blocking scheme. And uh, once you know how to combat that, uh, that will make you a better player. But with me, I look at uh, pre-snap, during the snap, and post-snap. What 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 can I steal from this guy that I can get some kind of advantage? Man, if it's, if it's a pre-snap, you know things like that. Does he pass my eye test? Which is, if this offensive lineman has fat ankles, like cankles, mm-hmm. that means I'm I'm he I'm gonna get he's gonna I'm gonna get two or three sacks on him because he can't move <laughs> because yeah. I'm a speed guy, so I match up well against that. But if it's an athletic uh, Jason Peters type, yeah, I got, to, I got to play a little chess with him because he can he can stay in front of you. He he's a dog. Trent Williams, these type guys. So yeah, you really got to go in the bag of tricks now. 
They you big know. and athletic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. These guys, they done those they problems. And so yeah. during the snap, what type of hand placement? Where are they where are they hitting? They're trying to hit me on my nine or the eight or both or you know, things like that. And you just take getting intel. Because mm-hmm. like you said, it ain't fair, it ain't, you know, it ain't fair, but whatever. I I just need to steal one plate. You just gotta get one. I just, I just need one. one. Yeah, so hey. one is devastating. Yeah. Yeah, right. I was talking. I was talking before, like, <clears throat> and we were just kind of talk about, like, you know, when 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 we was on the coach, man, and we was just kind of in tune with one another, and we would be in the meet room, and I know sometimes someone would say, or you would say, like, um, if his right foot is is low to the ground, then it's run. That's a run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or if it's um, the heel is up. If, yeah, or his heel, if his heel was up, it's like his pass, and we like, oh, we can't see that, but but give us something, you know what I'm saying? Tap your tap your butt or something, and just yeah, let us know. Right. But it was just like, like what, like how much film did you have to study to really get keen, get you know, what I mean, eyed in on those type of keys? I kind of, I would say mainly my well, my biggest stat season was 2013, and what I did was really drill myself on play action reels all week. Uh, Every game that they mm. play, I drill myself on that. So I try to find out, okay, somebody has to give away the run pass key. If it's play action, the O linemen and uh tight ends, they gotta sell run. They gotta sell run in order for it to you know for it to be successful. But it's always somebody that gives it away. Most of <laughs> it's a tight end or a guard. Tight ends they want to get into their route right now. Uh guards, they just like they're the worst athletes on the field. So they really can't hide their stances. But if it's a run, they're gonna get down like, like hunkered down. You know, they call it white knuckle. But if it's a yeah. pass, they gotta they gotta sit back a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I'll give it a couple series. But if it's if it holds true, I tell my guys, hey, I'm gone. And so he knows what that means. Mm-hmm. And uh, and that just kind of it just kind of discourages quarterbacks from doing it. If you can hit and hit that in the mouth early a couple times, play action. Uh, now they're gonna try to run at you, but now it's about playing chess. You can play it honest now because mm-hmm. you play with house money, you get a couple early sacks, man. <laughs> yeah, that boy, get away game, man. Yeah, y'all man. Man. I hope that y'all boy. listening for that real. Pay, pay attention, yeah, for real, for real. Hold on, let's uh, and uh, I got a question from Ethan, and something I want to know too. Ethan, I think Tremblay, three wise, what's it like working with the young players and how they responded? Um. It's 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 amazing. I mean, you have your mm-hmm. guys that are really serious about wanting to be a pass rusher, and you have some guys that you know it's just kind of you know just they hear it and then it's whatever. But I would say uh, to Ray, it, although he's hurt, he will he's been a guy that's really kind of uh, you know gravitated to me, you know attached mm-hmm. to my hip. Whatever I say, he kind of hangs on. So I have to be conscious, and it kind of makes you a better coach. If, yeah. If I say do it, he's gonna do it exactly how I say it. So I have to learn how to be a better coach and uh, communicate. But uh, he's really taken. He has the he has the skill, and uh, now he has the want to, and he's becoming a dog. Uh, I can't wait till he's healthy so he can get back to uh, you know getting out to quarterbacks. But you, there's a lot of guys across the league that uh, I've had the pleasure of working with. Mm-hmm. Uh, also being with uh, other just pass rush instructors around the league. You got a uh, Chuck. You know Chuck Smith. I you know this you know, yeah. yeah this uh actually did something with Julius Peppers and and it's just a nice fraternity that we have but uh the young guys in the league that are serious about wanting to be pass rushers these guys are bigger faster stronger and it's like damn mm-hmm. they they are like yeah. you can really see <clears throat> the next generation of rushers but these guys are they are some serious give me yeah. give, give yeah. us your uh give us your top five right now pass rushers <sighs> all right I'm gonna take my two favorite out because they hurt. That's Vaughn and Chandler Jones. I'm gonna take them out. Two dogs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So number one is Aaron Donald. Off top, it's not even play. Ooh. Not even play with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two. I got Cam Jordan down with the Saints. This it, no particular order. No particular order. Mm-hmm. But Aaron Aaron Donald's number one. Miles Garrett. Uh, the both another brothers. monster. Yeah, the Bosa brothers, Bud Dupree. I mean, it's just it's just way too many. Khalil Mack. Mm-hmm. So I can't I can't give you a top five. I, more like top five. <laughs> I respect that. TJ Watt. TJ yeah, Watt. Yeah, dog. Both, yeah, the, yeah, TJ Watt. Uh, He's a dog, man. He's a dog. I, I got a question. How how um Justin Houston? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jay Hugh. Yeah. So how how and I, speaking of that G line, 
how does the addition of a guy like Buckner in um, I would say the the progression that Grover Stewart. A lot of people are not talking about Grover Stewart, but when I click on the film and I watch out, like he, that dude is getting penetration. He dominate that that a run game, and obviously not going to show up in the stat sheet with a bunch of um, sacks or nothing like that. But how much did that help? Um, just the defense as a whole, having having interior linemen who can control who can control it and cause chaos up there. <clears throat> I think Torn can answer that better than I can, man. But uh, right. yeah, I would uh. Yeah, I would have gave back a, a couple dollars, man, to have a guy like Buckner as my three technique. He is a straight stud, uh, overall a great team guy, mm -hmm. uh, a great leader. I mean, he he checks every 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 box, and he he wrecks guys. Uh, yeah. I think you saw that one that one clip of uh, versus the Vikings. He just picked the guy up and just body slammed. Him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. That, you just don't do that to to guards in his league, and mm -hmm. he can do that. So, um, he definitely definitely. Is the difference maker in that defense this year? Uh, it starts with him, and then it just kind of just you know, spreads abroad. The yeah. DBs, I mean, from the DB, everybody has a mentality that that old that old four three cover two. Everybody get to the ball, and everybody in this buck shots. There's eleven mm -hmm. shots. Every, that, that running back gonna get hit eleven times every play. You better watch. You better watch out. Friendly <clears throat> five for sure. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I know y'all play, play with Bob. I know y'all had to have voice some friendly Whoa. fire with Bob. Yeah, Ooh, hot, hot with Bob. Yeah, I, when I played with Wolf, man, that was yeah, man. Like me and Bob had words one time, man. He hit me in the back, bro. <laughs> but all he said was just get up, you get him down quicker. I said, hey, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Spoken like a true missile, <laughs> right? Hey, I got a good question. You, yeah, you, you kind of um, you kind of touched on it before when you was um talking about how y'all was just racing to get to the quarterback, and um, uh, I think it's the Matt Bowles. Uh, while the pass rush is primarily focused on getting to the QB, how do you also ad adequately defend against the run? And uh, I know a lot of times uh, we used to get on y'all, um, GB. You know, y'all boys, y'all boys running, you know what I'm saying, and um trying to get the quarterback, but then y'all was also good at, at at playing the run. Like how as a as a as a rusher, what's your mentality? I think a lot of times it's just it's just common sense, man. If it's first and ten, second and five, you know, just obvious rundowns, don't just haul ass up the field, you know. This yeah. come on now. That's putting your guys like you know, putting you in the bad position or whatnot. If the fullback is Offset to your side, tight end, looking at me like, okay, this, this is a run. Mm -hmm. so let me go ahead and just do right because you have to earn the right to rush the passer. And so mm -hmm. if you same thing uh, Kenny Moore said. Yeah, just, just run. I mean, just do your run keys. Just play your techniques, and that'll put you where you need to be. Proper footwork because, honestly, if you just take your same steps, that'll put you in the – if it's a – if it's a – Pass set by offensive lineman, you're stepping at his shoulder. If it's a, a run block, you're still stepping at his shoulder. You can you can uh, train wreck. If he oversets, you can come up and under, make the running back bounce. If he blocks down, you can stick a foot in the ground, chase it down. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's all the same foot footwork. It's just you just being disciplined enough to do it, and mm -hmm. uh, smart enough and unselfish enough to play what you know play the proper down like run run pad run defense versus pass defense. Gotcha. Shit, there you go, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all. You go, y'all heard it. Y'all get some gems. Y'all get some gems today. It's like it's like the free trial. Yeah, you know free trial. Drink. <laughs> free trial. Oh yeah. Hey, you sure, man. We done had some good times. I'm talking about off the off the field. Um, had some good time, uh, and we, me and Debo, we always kind of talk about that as far as um the camaraderie and you know the more you know your brother off the field, the the mm -hmm. I think the the better that you'll play. Um on on the field yeah. give me give me give me one of your best your best off the field uh moments that either made, <laughs> made you laugh or whatever um i got one um and it's it's about it's about d free i got one but what, what, what what's yours <laughs> no I, <laughs> I think i got a uh, idea where you going with it but no i think <laughs> it was more after we won the super bowl man the whole party circuit we did yeah that that damn man! You know, I, I wish pre I, had I appreciate one you for admitting admitting in your book. I won. I hey, won. hey, that <laughs> was that was that was a deep butt. It was some <laughs> epic. It, it was it was some epic, bro. Um, man, yo, we started. We had a Super Bowl tour. Where we start off at? We started off. 
Yeah. What y'all win it? Y'all won in Miami, right? We won in Miami. Yeah. You know, we, mm -hmm. we went nuts in Miami. Yeah. But no, that next weekend we went to uh Vegas. we, we went Vegas. to Vegas for All Star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then so then we Kato did D something in DC. So uh, me and Kato, yeah, me and Kato did something in DC. Yeah. And we and we set it off right. I thought we did a a, a hell of a job. <laughs> yeah. And then we went to then we went to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rob had so, so that's so that Rob stomping ground. Yeah, man. Hey. I, hey, I said, hey, I can't because I went to DC. I said, oh, I can't, I can't, I gotta, I gotta show up for this one. Oh, so no, it was DC. all. Uh, it's city. So, it's so many stories, but just when we hang, when we with each other, man, it, it's it turned into brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Not teammates. We, when we left the practice field and we stepped out the building, it's like, hey, man, what y'all about to do? All right, mm -hmm. Thursday night dinners, man. We that that that's what it was. Yeah, at dinners, man. I we look forward to that. That's when you get a chance to really just talk. Uh, anybody that need to get checked, that's they they they, they mm -hmm. check at the table. So, and uh, you just kind of it just kind of galvanize you as a team. But those are the things you. I, that's the shit I miss as far yeah. as yeah. locker room, that the whole dynamics, and just your your guys that you're around uh, day in and day out. Because when you retire, man, all right, damn. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like you out, you out. Like when the athlete retired, man, we talked about it with a couple of different guests. Um, but it's it's a whole different world. You out here figuring it out, dolo almost, and you just That's so it. used oh. to being being on the team, being a part of the team, doing your job. You know, having that, you know, having like you said, when it's time for somebody to get checked, they get checked. Right, it's on the mm -hmm. sideline in the meeting room. You know, at a Thursday night dinner. And that, that's that's healthy and that's good for us. So it's, it's good to kind of build that team and have it around you. I know I miss I miss the damn dice games we used to have, bro. <laughs> that was that was some of our, our best bonding. Man, uh, I, should, I, should, I, should, I should kill y'all boys. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop. Man, hey, man, he used to come wife. in, get his win, and duck off. Hey, the <laughs> wife, and, the wife and my daughter, they still thank y'all for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the worst. Ooh. Somebody, somebody hit the game for a few bands. Like, yeah, hey, man, I just, I just bought wife for you or something nice, man. Just appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah on the back of the plane too. At the back of the oh plane. yeah, back, back of the plane. plane, hotel, everywhere. We got it in. No, man, I had so, so, me some yike. Now, you know what I'm saying? I was good. <laughs> <laughs> Already know, man. Miss good, good time. Great time. It's amazing how. It's, uh, it's how foreign that is. Once you step away from the game, how <laughs> soft a lot of guys are. Yeah, they for can't take jokes. I mean, they. I said, man. So mm -hmm. can't, can't take you heart. Say, yeah, you got. I, you know, you want to joke around, talk a little shit. Most mm -hmm. guys can't handle that, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's real. That's real, man. So that's a lot you learn in the game that you know you could take on in life and help you be successful. But uh, that that it, it's definitely definitely different. Almost uh. It's like when you lead a game. It's like uh, when people lead the military. It's like, damn, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a civilian now. Like, how do I operate in the civilian <laughs> world? So yeah. it's like, that's real. That's like real talk. But uh, you know, it's, the good thing about it is building them relationships, building the bond that you built in the locker rooms, and then carrying them yeah. on for you know throughout life. So when you hit tough times, you hit certain times, you need to holler at somebody about. You still got them people that you can reach out to. So um, right. you know, that's priceless. That's priceless right there. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. That's real. Oh, man. That's a fact. What else we got, man? Uh, sure. We get, uh, what else going on right now? We want to talk about. Man, ain't nothing going to the finals. Sure. Matter of fact, let's talk about. I see you just posted. Um, <laughs> I've seen it going going around. So, you know, obviously they got MJ as the GOAT. You got Kobe as um as Mamba. Mamba. And um, LeBron as a king, like, how do you feel about that goat dis dis discussion, man? You think it's it's valid? You think you should have that, or should you just leave it as you know? All three of these guys are great, man. Just leave yeah. it at that. Yeah, just appreciate the greatness of all three guys, because I mean, there never be another MJ, another LeBron, is uh, or another Kobe. Everybody is, is their own man. They ran their own race, and uh, it's just good water cooler talk. Mm -hmm. It's something you know. Sales, you know, people can make money off of it. People can have you know, debates and all of this stuff. But so, who you got ranked at one? Then that's all <laughs> I want. I want to know who you got at one. 
MJ, man. I can't. I can't oh, man, I knew it. I knew it. Old, old head, bald nah, head. Man. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> MJ, bro. Goddamn it. MJ. <laughs> so who two? You got Kobe at two, Bron at three? No, no. Bron at two. Bron at two. Okay. 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 I, 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 I can respect I, you, that. You may, I can respect most that. people may not may not agree, but I think that one he did. I can respect that. The one he won in Cleveland is worth one and a half, two, two chips. That that down three one. Yeah, man. That that's agreed. Was, yeah, that was that agreed. was something spectacular. But Kobe got five of them things, man. So it's Kobe got five. I got Bron at one. Man. I got the Bron at the top. <laughs> oh, hey, that's just gotta, it's, he dominated. He dominated for two. Like we never seen nothing like it, man. Seventeen straight, <laughs> and in <then> year seventeen, <laughs> you still. You still yeah. supposed to be the league MVP? You the Finals MVP? Like, come on, man. We we ain't we ain't never seen nothing like this, man. It's, it's, six it's, finals, six wins, six MVPs. I mean, that's hard. That's why I say if somebody got them ranked that one, it's hard to argue. It's, with hard. That. It's, 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 it's hard to argue with that. It's a, yeah. it's, it's an argument. You can have. You can sit here and talk about this for hours. Yeah, it, it, it's tough, but you know, you got to put somebody at one. And uh, I'm putting, I got, you know, M, MJ's the guy. You know, I mean. He had he had the great pieces around him, bro. He had Two Phil Jackson, famous. great greatest head coach ever. One of one of I would I would put Pop at number one personally, but you got Phil Jackson, you got Scottie Pippen, another top ten to fifteen player during his era, especially Dennis um, Rodman. Dennis Rodman, greatest rebounder ever. And you got all that on the same <laughs> team. And I mean, you coming come in, you come on, man. See, 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 we about to go down this lane here. You got, you got it. Come on, you got it. We got to talk about this real quick, man. So he did what he was supposed to, not taking anything from him, but he did what he was supposed to do. Okay, Kyrie Irving, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Anthony Davis. What? What? Oh, the, when when he left any team, he left. When MJ left for them two years, what did the Bulls do? They still was balling. They still was balling. Pip, Pip matter of fact, was in the MVP race. Still was balling. Come on, man. Phil Jackson, he went and got another three peat. Come on, man. 90s, no. 90, that, that, that era, that era you grew up watching, that shit was weak, too, man. Whoa. <laughs> See, I that do, shit was weak. I do, bro. That's bro. the subject, but we, I had a massive argument with uh with Dan Mirror and myself. I'm I took the 88 Pistons over the the Golden State Warriors. Nah. If we're talking about the era. In the what? 80s, era, man, one. Golden State with the random boys out the building, <laughs> out, 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 out the, the building, bad, you know, the bad boys, huh? Yeah, out, out the, the bad out boys, the good boys over Golden State and four, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> out the building because 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 Lambert he was he wouldn't have been able to be on the court because he wasn't gonna guard anybody, he couldn't guard anybody, you know what I'm he saying? Those fouls now, not the same fouls then. That's I what I'm saying. That, yeah, I, yeah. They ain't they ain't got a uh they ain't got a you step on his ankle, he's done, man. <laughs> oh my god, here it's we go. Step, and, Steph Curry pulling up. Isaiah is gonna do it too. Step hey. <laughs> <laughs> step, 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 play and all that. Pull, they pull him from the logo. Hey, they pull him from the pull him from 30. Get inside of uh, KD here. Gonna grab his ass and shoot shit like that. Man, and, uh, they, <laughs> Draymond, they and, uh, Draymond and Dennis, they gonna be matched for match though. They head, yeah. head, they head, yeah. head. They, throw hands. they, they might both be suspended. Out. They might both be suspended. I just think the yeah. skill, man. <laughs> And everybody talk about you know MJ and how he got beat up and all this stuff, and he did. Bad boys beat his ass, they, and, they he and he wasn't winning. And it, but he wasn't winning when he was getting beat. He started winning when he started getting all them all them touch fouls. He started getting that MJ treatment. Bron never got that treatment. Seventeen years he done been a face of the league. He's still not getting the superstar. That treatment. man, okay. that man said you still you, you he's still looking for his respect. Still looking for his damn that's, respect. That's, that's, that's bullshit. That's a bullshit hey. statement right now. Hey. He, why, he's, why? Considered, he's considered the goat. How is that not respect? I mean, I, it, a, a lot of people have a lot of naysayers. They are oh, Ky yeah. Ky Ky Kyrie saved them. Uh, Ray That's Allen crazy. saved them. He, 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 come on, man. Y'all, y'all, come on, man. You gotta stop. You gotta I, stop. I, I, I'm not buying it. I'm not. Buying but you rank them. I mean, if I take just overall on and off the court, I'm gonna take LeBron. You know his. Oh, what that's hands down. No, what he's oh, done yeah. off the yeah. court, man. That's his hands down, yeah. Out, man, out 100. Agreed, 1,000%. Now, since we talk about greatest, who would be your greatest pass rusher of all time? Mm. I'm going to take Derek Thomas. Going DT. I, I say that because he owns Dang. the single game sack record, and he's number two 
single game stack record, eight and seven. Boy, you got some. So God, like all, 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 so all time, I'm thinking you you got Derek Thomas, you got Reggie White, you got, got Lawrence Taylor, Taylor, Lawrence Taylor, Taylor, Bruce, Taylor. Bruce, I mean, Smith. Bruce, Bruce Smith, Reggie White. I mean, I'm gonna throw my man's in the, the white. You can throw straight, the white. Yeah, yeah you, you throw straight hand in there. Deacon John, like you got a lot of. <laughs> oh, 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 I you, you throwing straight hand in there in a uh, top five? Uh, I mean, give me, give me, give me, okay. give me let me, let me go top give me, five. Sorry, I can't, he top can't five. be, he, he wouldn't be in the top five. Give, I'm give me, give top me five. All right, Derek Thomas. All right, John Randall. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Bruce Smith, Lawrence Taylor. Uh, Lawrence Taylor at four. I know. I said, this is no particular order. Is okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got one more. We got one more. One uh, more. This is a tough. This is a tough list. You know what? I'm gonna I'm go Julius Peppers, bro. Ooh. Go Pep. Pep. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go Pep at five. Ooh. That's a, that's a, that's that's a tough five right there. A tough yeah. five. Yeah. Who yeah. you got, AB? You've been around the game long enough. You got. You gotta have a top five pass rushes. Top five pass rushes, man. That I've. I'm, I'm gonna go what. What I've seen, I'm gonna go. Let's, okay, what with, you've seen, okay. What I've seen, um, cause you know, <clears throat> I'm gonna go LT. I'm gonna go Reggie White. I'm gonna go Bruce Smith. Um, Bruce Smith. Then I'm gonna finish off my boys, man. I'm gonna go uh Rob and, and man, B3. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure, got I'm gonna go, finish <laughs> off with my guys, man. You know what I mm, mean? That's a, a solid list, man. It's a lot, a lot of a lot of dogs out there. Let's, man. Hear, it, but let's hear it, bro. Yeah, he man, I got it. So try to get out of there. I, yeah. No, I gotta go. I he can't go. Jason I, Taylor. I can't go with the old way. Oh, JT was a dog. <laughs> JT was a dog now. Yeah, he could say the Miami Dolphins and all that. He, he was, you, you, you making me think now. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> but uh, shit. I ain't watch LT like that. I ain't, I ain't watch Reggie Wright. I ain't really know what I was watching at that point. So I'm going to go with some of the young cats. I'm going to show the young cats some love. So I'm going to yeah. go. So this won't be an all time. This will probably be post 2000. Oh, all right. That's, what, really? that's um, what I'm about to say. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think that I've seen. We really, just said really that. Watched, that I've seen. I'm gonna go. Shit. And there's no particular order. JJ Watt up there. Aaron Donald's up there. I'm talking about young. These young cats. Chandler yeah, yeah, Jones you, up you there. You better clarify this, bro. These are young cats. These are okay. these are not okay. even. This not even y'all area. These are gotcha. JJ Watt, Aaron Donald, Chandler Jones. Khalil Mack, Von Miller, those are top five, like, you know, when I was New still Jackson. playing in the game and stuff like that. Now, just watching football, LT, Derek Thomas, that's that's career, that's home team. He, he was, he was 98, 93, Freeney Mathis. Mm -hmm. And then I love John Randall too, but I can't, I ain't gonna go into, I, I go sap before I went Randall. <laughs> oh, that's, and, that's uh, that, no, no, that's a hometown. That, 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 that's hometown right there. Yeah, bro. That was I. Uh, that was Sap, that Sap, interior, Sap, Sap, was, Sap was different. Sap is my man. He's my man now. We I, I talked to him uh, a couple months back. We were talking, but John Ronda got a hundred and, and uh, like thirty some sacks as a three technique. Oof. <laughs> he, he has the most. I sacks. know that. Yeah, I man. That. Yeah, John <laughs> John John Randall, that's right there. I ain't know that. That's numbers that's, right there at, at a three technique. Three technique. I just heard that. of. Wow. Nobody yeah. would touch no no three technique would touch them numbers ever. Uh, uh, Aaron Donald. Oh, wait, I was about to say oh, what, yeah, what technique? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, 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 man, if he if he continue this for the next yeah. eight years, he might touch two hundred, bro. Bro, he just had four last week. That's crazy. That's bro. insane. That's insane. And he getting yeah. double teamed. No, he but double teamed every week. <laughs> But I, I'm, I'm watching. But but I'm watching some of these films from the last game, and he one on one. So whoever that old, whoever that offensive coordinator, <laughs> old line coach is, they need to be out the building, bro. Yeah, like, yo, like, cause I'm looking at some of these sacks, and and I, I know the guard, like, yo, bro, like, y'all don't set, <laughs> don't set me up like this, yo. Hold on, what what's the protection scheme? I know he get down that stands. Five white o. knuckles, pink knuckles, whatever. <laughs> he, he, he probably hearing five o one, like, nah, bro, you got to switch this, like. <laughs> 
we got zone this zone go for something he's 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 just a dog bro yeah he is sheesh there he is but yeah, man, that's so that that's you know that's that's the list. You can't go wrong with any of them lists, man. A lot of a lot of great ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, nah, man, bro, man, we appreciate you, man. Man, I had, sure, I, had, man. I had a great time, man. She was fine. Yeah, man, you gotta come back. You gotta come <laughs> yeah, back, man. Yeah, yeah, you gotta come back, man. We, when we get when we get our studio, man, you gotta come check us out in the studio. You know, yeah, we I'm do that thing. You know what I'm saying? Drink some Uncle it. Nearest. What um uh, got to shout out uh shout out to your uh gridiron gang again. Let them know where they can get the the art of the pass rush. That's probably what we're gonna title this one. Art oh, of the yeah. pass rush. Uh, the, the skill not scheme team, man. Uh, gridiron mm-hmm. gang, Westfield, Indiana, Grand Park, the largest park in the, in America. I think four hundred acres plus. Uh, we do combine training, position specific, uh, speed and agility across the board, all sports. So it's not just limited to football. How okay. they get in con- how they get in contact with you at the original gridiron game llc.com there you have it you have it and you can follow us uh, we got instagram uh twitter uh follow me too hey trust me we we out we out you <laughs> <laughs> out you you yeah. see him hey man it was, a, it was a pleasure though man pleasure man, you pre- appreciate you joining us man triple og hey, appreciate y'all man y'all look my, brother, man. my god uh, appreciate you always look up Already, I got to this game. Oh, I missed a lot of this game last night. Herbert was slinging that bitch. Man, he was balling, bro. Yeah. You know, um, I missed the end. I missed the end. Uh, yeah, Breeze, Breeze found a breeze. way. He found a way. It was looking ugly at the uh, at the at the first quarter, first half. Man, you know, like young boy, man, <laughs> he 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 playing good. And then like they put up the um stat, um. Well, like they the, the games that they've lost, like three points, five points, a touchdown. So they they end the games, man. They just, yeah. it's just and, and they miss they miss an old line. They miss an old lineman too. A few old linemen banged up. Man, he got you know, that balling though. He he eating, bro. I would say this as far as like the future of the game, as far as quarterbacks, <laughs> man, in good hands, great hands, in good he, hands. He, 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 I, I didn't think I, I knew he had the skill set like watching him, watch because I was watching some of the young college cats, um, coming out and watching like the Pac 12 guys. So, see, I saw him play probably three or four games. I'm like, oh, he get with the right coach, like, right? And they were saying something about leadership and quiet and all that, shit, but his skill set, like, it was that, that shit was undeniable. I could see why they was hyping him to be the number one pick. Yeah, that shit, shit I ain't see, I ain't, I ain't know it's gonna come and jump on the scene like this, though. If you just base it off of the three quarterbacks off this past draft, I mean, obviously we haven't seen Tua yet, but Tua, mm-hmm. um, Justin Herbert, and uh, Burrow, shit, that's that's three right there. Then you still got Josh Allen, you still got Lamar, you still got Pat Mahomes, you got Deshaun Watson, uh, Deshaun Watson Kyler Murray, Teddy Bridgewater, not old, you know what I'm saying? Bridge, like, Bridge would have looked good. He got them he boys looked, looking a lot, a lot better than um than than, than people anticipate. And mm-hmm. without C Mac too, C Mac been out for like three, four weeks now. And I think that's even gonna help them even more because now you got Mike Davis in there balling. So now mm-hmm. you might not gotta give C Mac all those touches. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. So, he'd be fresh down the stretch. He's down the stretch. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then and then you look at that division. You got Matt Ryan looking kind of washed right now. You got uh-huh. Breeze, he at the end. Yeah. Brady at the end. Yeah. You got to go through Carolina soon. You might have to be, oh, keep pounding. Yeah, pause. But, um, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, um, uh, you see, you had mentioned something earlier. Oh, no, I don't think it wasn't you. I think it was JP. But with uh, AB, he suspended eight weeks. Yeah, like we how, what, we how, six how, but how how does that he suspended by the league, right? Yep. So do, does he have to be you on a roster? Sign. You can now nah, you could now nah, he he his suspension is still it's still counting. Like oh, it's counting. Okay, in, back, yeah, back. he's in week you, whatever of his season. So mm-hmm. so uh, back where, where you see where you think he should go? Well, of his suspension, should I say? Um, you know, before before the season they were talking about the Seahawks. Obviously, that's not. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's not a need there. Um, I don't think you want to, you know, add him to the locker room. But 
I don't know, man. You got, I mean, I, I'm watching the Ravens. They they don't look great on offense right now. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, he got the relationship with his cousin, Hollywood Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Lamar Jackson, I think that's a really that's a really strong culture. We done heard that from from Powers. We heard that from Weddle. Um, and you seen that what they did with Eric, uh, Earl Thomas. They had to get him mm -hmm. up out of there. So uh, that's a really really strong cu culture and tight knit locker room. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, what you I, I I can't think of a spot where I could just see him. Oh, they need Antonio because you know he's gonna come with. You would anticipate that he's coming at least with you know either baggage or you got to have a plan in place. You know to 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 handle them to take care yeah. of them. so yeah you know what i mean where, where where do you see that place being because I, I can't i can't really think of a place right now that's jumping to mind like you said i think baltimore would be a a, a great fit i think you like you say you got to have um some structure or whatever organization um that he goes to it got to has has to be some structure got to have a uh uh you know where some, where the leadership is there um mm -hmm. like you said baltimore uh, I'm trying to think who else is in the need. Um, who who has else in the need? Who, who I has mean, that? I would, I would have loved to see him before they like get up there with Green Bay. What What you Did think you about? Know? Um, uh, well, he he ran down that road already. Um, well, Oakland. I mean, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, nah. Um, New England. New England with Cam. I mean. He, you know, he had his had his comments and shit, you know, about craft after, you know, it's just about, you know, they need weapons, though. There's no doubt weapons. about that. Yeah. Um, I feel like he's that he definitely will respect Cam and that that locker room is obviously, you know, their culture culture is, you know, top notch as well. I mean, yeah. we should. It's a, it's a lot of people banged up down at Tampa, too. You remember yeah. Tommy boy? Tommy was was pulling for AB pulling. before the season. Yeah. And that, that's what we heard. So. Tampa, New think, England. You don't, don't think? Think, you don't think you don't think BA gonna you don't think BA gotta have some history with him too. Not not even not even about BA, but it's just you know it's a, a lot it's of balls. Young, young I'm not even that, just oh crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a lot of balls chill out here. Balls, chill, out. Bro. Chill, out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I'm man, at the end of the day, you know, you got a lot of receivers. A lot of weapons out there, <laughs> but yeah. um, um, I don't know. That's, that's that's a good question, man. It's something that keep it out. And we going on what? What's this week? We are going on week six now, so week he'll six. be suspended for two more weeks. So two if I was weeks. a team and I was thinking about it, I will start making them calls now. I start making calls, checking. Hey, you know, I mean, you know, he's in shape. He always posting videos of him working out. Mm -hmm. You know, him, he's in shape. I think he'll still be one of the better receivers in the NFL is really no about question. we all know it's really about what he's going to bring off the field you know what I yeah. mean is he a guy that we can you know just trust and he's if he's you know he done kept his nose clean once his eight weeks up you know he'll he would have served his time basically yeah. so you know I, I I would like I would like to see him back out there personally oh, I want to yeah. see him get another shot and I want to see him take full advantage of it man he done been counted out he done got out of the mud before mm -hmm. and I, would, I, should, I would like to see it again Nah, man, you and me that's both. on him. Yeah, you but that's him. on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be on him. I think a team. I what I know about the NFL. I think a team will take a chance. <laughs> if you got the talent, and it's proven that he has the talent, and you know, you know, somebody will give him that call. Fact, fact. Yeah, somebody will give him that call. Another shot. So, um, you know, put hoping for the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Shoot. Where we at? We about an hour here. We 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 yeah, there. We there. We there. Sure, you can close this out. Hey, rules now. Hey, another episode of the Man to Man Pop. We had our, our our guy, both of our former teammates, uh, Super Bowl champ, all time great. Uh, Robert Mathis had a great interview, um, especially for those young guys out there trying to get after the past. I tell you what, it's a lot of money to be made if you can get after that guy. Once again, <laughs> yeah, sure, but uh, but yeah, another great episode in the books, man. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, man. We'll be back on what's today? It's just uh, it's be our Wednesday, so um, check us Thursday night. No, Thursday, Thursday night canceled this week. What's going on with that? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we'll figure it out. We'll still, we'll stay at something out Friday for y'all. So check us out, man. Another episode, man to man, yours truly, Darius Butler. Co-host Antoine Bethay. Y'all. Peace.